What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Back at you with another one. So today I got to speak on this. Uh, Y'all already know Paul George going to the Sixers. Like that was, that was very, I don't know. That was, that was unexpected. Like I didn't, I didn't expect him to, I didn't expect him to go nowhere. I don't know why. I just thought he was comfortable with, with the uh, with the Clippers, but I think like I think it was like because he wanted four and they only wanted to give him three years. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give a man his bread, my baby. You got to. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't know. I thought I thought he was gonna stay put. I did. I did. I thought you know what I'm saying it was gonna be him and Kawhi that was gonna ride it out. But I think I heard something about. He ain't like playing with uh with Harden. I heard that might uh, had a little bit to do with it. Then they signed Harden before they signed him, so it was like it was that in combination with they didn't want to give him that fourth year. They only wanted to give him three. He wanted four, so there it is. So he out. Surprised me though. I did not think I did not think he was leaving. You know what I'm saying, but hey, he got that. What he got? Two twelve. Hey, gotta go get your money, baby. Gotta go get your money. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's a good that's a good look for the Sixers though. Like Paul over there, Maxi and B, like that's a good look. Only thing I didn't like about it was they did lose Tobias Harris. You know what I'm saying? They lost him. But that's gonna be the East, the East getting it together. <laughs> like, that's going to be tough because you got Maxi, you know what I'm saying? He'll bucket. Then you put shooting around. That's most shooting around and be more people who can create that, another player that can create his own shot because that was kind of the, the one issue they had was it was in B or it was Maxi. They didn't have nobody else that could go get a bucket. And with today's NBA, like, you need multiple dudes that can go get their own shot. Like, even if it's not necessarily, like, in an ISO situation, but, like, if you give them the ball with 7-8 on the shot clock, they can create something and go get a basket. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need multiple players like that, and they only had two. They only had Embiid and they only and Maxi. So... It's easy for the defense to focus in on a one is just two, but when you got that third one, it's like, ooh, especially somebody who get buckets like Paul George get buckets. Like, he can always get his shot off. Like, so, now I think the only hole in their roster right now is the four. You know what I'm saying? So, they did sign Andre Drummond as a backup center. You know what I'm saying? To grab some minutes, but high and B play. Look, I mess around and put him at the four and put and put Drummond at the five on some lineups. Like uh -huh. he like to play on the perimeter anyway. I might go ahead and throw Andre at the dunker and let him be work from the mid post. You know, can't hurt. You know what I'm saying? Teams teams with bigs been winning anyway. I might play with that lineup. You know what I'm saying? But. I think they should. I, I'm wondering, like, who they gonna get at the five, at the four. I mean, because I don't like Paul. I don't want Paul George playing the four. No, do not put Paul George at the four. Put Paul George at the three. You know what I'm saying? They need to find somebody to put at the four. It don't even. All he really need to do is be a dunker. Just somebody athletic, lob threat, block shots. Like they had a dude, matter of fact, that was already on their roster. They might as well just plug him in at the four because. You don't you don't want to put Paul George at the fall because one he already had little injury issues and I feel like he more prone to get hurt playing the four than he would playing the three. You know what I'm saying? His defense is gonna have a better a better impact guarding threes than trying to guard fours. You know what I'm saying? He's a great wing defender. You know what I'm saying? Like let him guard wings. So I, I like it. I like it though. I think. I think, man, them healthy or give any team a run for their money. You know what I'm saying? The Sixers healthy, 
they get anybody around for their money. You got Paul at the three, Maxi, Embiid. But I think like my thing with Embiid is, especially with adding Paul George, he need to play closer to the basket, right? Like. I'll get him like 10 feet is your max you can be from the basket. 10 feet. I really want to say seven. But 10 feet is your max you can be from the basket, bro. We don't need you out here with us. Take your big ass down there close to that basket. You know what I'm saying? Play out the post. You got wing players, you got shooters. You're more dangerous closer to that basket. I think if they add the element of making Embiid play closer to the rim, along with Paul George and Maxi, and you put a shooter at the two, you know what I'm saying, and a, and an energy shot blocker, you know what I'm saying, dude at the four, then I think I think you got something. But if you gonna let Embiid play like a guard. You not gonna maximize the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? If you got him out there with doing what he like to do, out there on the at the elbow, all that jab, 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 fade away, like bro, we got Paul George for that now, bro. Get your big ass down there on that box. Get in the paint. You know what I'm saying? Get closer to the rim. Mid post. You know what I'm saying? Block extended a little bit. Okay, cool. You can operate from there, but we don't need you out here at the elbow on the three point line. Like that is not where we need you at. You need to be close to that basket. If, and I think that's gonna really be what determine how impactful that move is, is how Embiid play. You know what I'm saying? He need to come back healthy. He need to come back in better shape. You know what I'm saying? He need to do all, all he need to do all leg shit the whole summer. Like, so, he, he got them heavy legs, man. He got. He got to get a little light on his feet. You know what I'm saying? He be out there looking like he he run like he hurt when he ain't even hurt. Like, you know what I'm saying? He got them. He run like he got ankle weights on. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he need to do all legs all summer, bro. He need to just work out, find the best strength and conditioning dude he can find, and just do all lower body. Because every injury has been lower body injuries. You know what I'm saying? All his injuries, that's all his injuries been. Is that. So yeah, if he don't if he don't play closest to that basket, I don't I feel like it's gonna it's gonna kinda like waste them even having Paul George. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't need him out here playing like another guard. Cause it make him easier to guard. If you playing like a guard, you're easier to guard. You're you're letting what they call it, you're letting the defense off the hook. If you out there playing like a guard, take your big ass in that post and go lean on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Just go lean. Let's just get your big ass. No, just lean on somebody. That's you know what I'm saying. Just do that. Like, and let the guards play off of you. Let them double you. You kick it out to the guards and let them operate off of that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I think about this whole. Uh, Paul George going to the to the Sixers. I think it's dangerous if they maximize it with playing the game how they supposed to play it. And by playing the game how they supposed to play it, I mean and be getting your big ass in the paint. So tell me y'all thoughts. What y'all think about it, man? Y'all like it? Y'all think they a threat to Boston? Like what y'all think? Tell me in the comments. See y'all on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.